Welcome back to our Pi Game game development series. This is part four of our shmup game. This time we're going to be adding graphics to the game. Now the first thing we're going to need if we're going to use some graphics is we need some pretty graphics. And if you remember uh, our sprite demo, I talked about an artist named Kenny who has a lot of different things on open game art. And one of his that I really like is called the Space Shooter uh, Pack. And I'm going to use that for the art in our shmup game. This one's awesome. It comes with a lot of different ships and different colors. It has lasers. It has power-ups. It has all the different size um, meteors that you can have flying around. Uh, a lot of cool stuff. And uh, there's a little example of what it looks like. Right, got some cool stuff there. Now, you can go to Open Game Art and you can download it right here, or you can download it. I've linked directly to it in the um, show notes below. So, if we look at the folder when we download it, um, it's going to be a zip file, which when you open it up is going to have all sorts of stuff in it. Um, there's a folder with backgrounds in it. And what we want is this in this PNG folder. And in the PNG folder, we need three things. We need a graphic for our player's ship. We need a graphic for our laser that we're going to shoot. And we need a graphic for our enemy. Now the enemy is just sort of the enemies are just sort of flying around in straight lines. So I'm going to make these mobs that we have right now be some of these meteors um, that are in here and we can make some cool effects happen with those. So what we need to do is take those graphics and move them over into our folder where our code is. So what I've done is in my folder where I'm writing my code, I have this IMG for image folder, just like we did in the sprite example. And in those, I put the three graphics I'm going to use, the player ship, Orange is the one I chose, um, the brown medium one meteor, and the laser red 16. You can feel free to use different ones if you want to. Um, these are just the ones that I'm going to use. So let's switch back over to our code and get started here. Now, if you remember when we did our sprite example and we loaded the graphic, we had to do a little extra work to make sure that the code will work on whatever kind of computer you're using uh, because different types of computers name the directories different things and will make it hard for your program to find the graphics you're looking for if you don't do this the right way. So from OS we're going to import path okay, and then we're going to just set up those two a folder for the um, for the images, and I'm just going to call it that. It's path.join, the directory name of whatever file, whatever directory we're in for the file, and then I'm just going to say image. Okay, so now we know this variable right here will be equal to whatever the path is to that IMG directory where we have our uh, graphics in the right place. Okay, and one other thing that I've done is uh, I've added one other file, which is this one, which is a nice large um, space background to use on the background of my window. Um, I like this one a little better than the ones in the Kenny pack. So again, that one's linked below as well, and you can get this. It's called starfield.png, and we're going to make that the background of our game. So to start with, why don't we load the background first? Okay, so right here, before we start up everything, we're going to make a little section where we load all um, game graphics. Okay, so we need to load all those images in. Okay, the first one we're going to make is called the background, and that's going to be the image for our background. So we're going to say pygame.image.load. And in the parentheses, we want to put the name of the file, which 
we just use that join again and we join the image folder that we already figured out with the name of the file, which is starfield.png. And then always remember to put .convert at the end. We talked about that when we were loading graphics the first time. And then because we've loaded that graphic and we need to know how to place it somewhere, we can make a rect for it so that we will have a way to locate it. Okay. And all we want to do with that background rect is draw it first. Every time we get to our draw section down here, the first thing we want to do is we want to fill or we want to draw that background before we draw anything else. So basically instead of the screen.fill. Okay, although the screen.fill is kind of useful there to erase any extra stuff if you just happen to mess up and have the wrong sized background image that doesn't cover your screen or something like that. So we want to draw that background onto the screen. So the command for that is on the screen we want to blit, B-L-I-T. Blit is kind of an old-fashioned computer graphics term which basically just means copy the pixels of one thing onto another thing. And we want to blit the background onto our screen. Um, that's what this all sprites.draw command is actually doing is it's going and blitting all of your sprites. It's just taking care of that for you. Since we're doing this one separately, we're going to need to do it ourselves. So we're going to blit the background and the location is the background rect, which started out up in the upper left hand corner and we don't need to move it or anything. So that should be fine. And now we should have a nice background like that. So let's go ahead and load our other graphics up here. So we're going to load the player image. And again, I'm just going to use IMG as the abbreviation for the word image. So image.load, we're going to do the path.join again with the image folder. And then this one is called player ship one underscore orange dot PNG. Kind of a long name. We might want to go back and shorten that at some point, although it doesn't really matter. We only have to type it in this one time. And then I'm going to actually just copy and paste that line so that I can just change it and make the meteor image. And the meteor image is named meteor brown underscore medium one. And the bullet image, more of a laser, not a bullet, but good enough, is called laser red 16. Okay, so those are our other three graphics that we wanted to load. So now we can start. Uh, changing our sprites to use them. So let's go to the player first. So we want to replace the green rectangle and get rid of that fill. And the image is now just going to be player, player image. But there's a little something we got to check on. And that is, that is pretty big. I don't know if you, did you see how big that was? It's pretty large. I think I want to make it a little smaller. Well, again, that's the size of the graphic that the artist drew, right? So we want to scale it, and Pygame can scale things. So we can say um, we can say instead of just loading the image, we want to say Pygame. Oops, Pygame. Transform. Scale, and that'll let us scale the player image. Okay. To a new size. Okay, and I'm going to make it about 50 by 38. And the way I figured that out was I went over to my graphic and I opened it up in just my little graphics program. Um, and I looked at the size. Okay, and if I looked at the size, it is in pixels. 99 by 75. So I just decided I wanted to make it about half that. So if we went to 50, 38 is the would be the height. 
So you just divide them both by two, just to get a size we kind of would like. Okay, and now that's going to look a little bit better. Yeah, that's more the size I want for my ship. I still have room to dodge things. Okay, now I don't know if you can see. You can definitely see if you're doing this on your screen. We still have the black rectangle around it because we didn't set our um, color key. So we do need to say self.image.set color key black so that we don't have any black outline around it. Okay, so that's going to work for the player. Now let's change the mob. I'm going to do the, basically the same thing, although I don't think I need to scale that image. I think we'll leave it the same size. We're just going to use the Meteor image. And there we go. Yep, they're all little meteors with black outlines. So let's put set color key to black on those. Very nice, very nice. And now we can do the last one, which is our little yellow bullets are going to change into being the bullet image and set color key to black on that. And there we go. Now we have some nice looking graphics with a pretty cool looking laser beam coming out. Starting to look fun. Now the only problem we still have and see if I can if you can notice this on my screen. You might have noticed it on yours is did you see that? Did you see that collision? It didn't look like the meteor was touching the spaceship, but it still counted as a collision. Why did that happen? Well, since we're already going kind of long, we will address that in the next video. But basically, we need to look at the way the collisions are working and adjust our strategy for colliding.